expanding the world from beyond the Mint universe into different themes and different types of games as well. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. I'm Callie and today I'm taking a look at the Paquetto Collection by Paquetto Games. It is a series of three games, The Blessed Dark, Star Forge, and Castle Siege. All of these games are a little bit different and we'll get into that below in a second, but they have one thing in common. They are big games in small packages. Let's take a look. First up, we'll take a look at Star Forge. And like Paquetto's previous games in the Mint Tin series, when they're known as 524 Labs, you'll notice there's a ton of content packed into this little Mint Tin box, which is awesome. In Star Forge, which is a two-player game, you'll be playing as either the Terrans or the Goo and attempting to conquer the galaxy. So you'll have your ships here, which you will be able to do different action types, including moving, conquering different planets, attacking, collecting resources, and of course, augmenting and adding abilities to your ships. And each of the different factions plays a little bit differently, has different items that you can attach, different ways to gain those attachments as well. In the end of the game, you'll be either trying to collect up to four of these tokens on your home base or attacking each other's ships and destroying them completely and also attempting to vie for control of six of these stars and planets. Next up, we have Castle Siege, which is also a competitive game for two players. Very quick, and it's actually interesting. You'll be using your hand to create your castle, placing the keep in the bottom level of your castle right here with the four hearts up to show that you have that four health there. The rest of the cards will actually become your hand, and they have some different components in them including explosives, archers, different tower pieces that you'll be using to build and augment your castle as well as attack each other and defend. So here we'll be able to look at the first two uh, cards in our hand and choose one. One of the actions you can do is choose one of them to add it to your castle. So I'm going to add a tower here with two health up into the second level of my tower. And now I have a keep and a tower. In addition, you can also attack with some of the various creatures that you'll be adding to your tower. Or if you want to refresh, go ahead and pull that one back to the back of your deck and choose two different cards to choose from. Now there are different things that'll happen throughout the game. So you're attacking with these cards that have the attack symbols here. You'll be then taking damage on say your tower. It'll go down here to one heart and you continue the game. Whoever destroy, destroys the other person's keep first and castle wins the game. And last in the collection, we have the Blessed Dark. In the Blessed Dark, two to four players will be vying for control and favor from the Ancient Ones, doing things like summoning demons, playing spells, and trying to control the Dark One here. Each player will start with three cards as well as two blood tokens, and choosing one of them to start as a spell in their Grimoire. Players will take turns either drawing cards or rolling the die, attempting to get one of their spells completed and do the actions on those spells, whether that's doing things to their opponents or summoning demons for those favor points. And when the deck runs out, the player with the most favor points wins. So let's discuss the games Starforge, Castle Siege, and The Blessed Dark. This is three games in the Paquetto series, which uh, used to be 524 Labs. Yeah. And they used to do all the Mint Tin games, which I believe they're probably still going to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. But those were all mainly in-house designers for them. In this series, there are actually three unique designers. 
that and they're are like, expanding the world from beyond the mint universe into different themes and different types of games as well and of course they're all going to be in the mint tins and they're going to come as a collection so a series of three games inside one of these little little carrying cases over there now of course these are prototypes so they will be yeah. different than what you see here but mm -hmm. this is going to give you the gist of what all of the games are they're even going to have some additional components in the kickstarter campaign including what they're going to call a field guide which has different achievements as well as stickers you can use to collect all of the games in the paquetto collection so let's just get into the game. We'll first start with Starforge. Starforge is an action management game that has this little area in which you're trying to control planets, gather resources, and defeat your opponent's ships. Any of those three will have you win the game. There's mm -hmm. the Goo, there's Terran, and it's basically like Starcraft in a small package, right? Yes. You're, so you're building your ships, trying to gather your resources, and going head-to-head -head against each other. It is a two-player game, which... Actually, I like all of these games. You can play two-player, which is kind of nice in the world where we're living in today, where everyone's at home. You may only have one other player to play a lot of games with, so that's a nice touch. And with this one here, there is a ton of game in this specific mm -hmm. one here. Of the three, this has the most content. You're going to be actually building your ships and putting pieces together with either the goo, placing membranes or drones onto the ships, getting the option of choosing what type of upgrades you want to have, whether it be do you want to take more resources, do you want to do more damage, do you want to move farther in the game for your actions that you take. Mm -hmm. You can actually even get bonus actions as well. There's buying phases for Terran to let you buy stuff. And then the goo is actually interesting. It shoots out out goo yeah. everywhere and then it flips the goo over the and you can control spreads and populates so they each uh, player plays their faction a little bit differently and within that you have choices as to far far as how you want to upgrade and what actions you choose for your strategy of the game yeah and obviously with terrans you definitely want to make sure you use that action to build structures it's going to give you a lot of power throughout the game and with the goo making sure you spread it out everywhere and satisfying the need to create more ships as well as to improve your ships for free which is nice they both function very differently the game is very swingy and it's one of those die rolling games too where if you roll well you'll do well if you roll poorly you won't do well but there's going to be benefits as to how you can improve your ships and improve your your chances of doing well with those die rolls of yes. course and selecting one of those three ways to victory sometimes you might want to go with multiple ways other times you might want to go with just simply one of them head to head pretty aggressive i think people who yes. don't like aggressive combat swinging games probably won't like this one mm -hmm. but if you like this type of game which has a large table presence the ability to craft your ships and move them around and fight and i do like the pieces how they fit together and the acrylic and the colors all the, the whole look of the game is very cool but yeah it's definitely going to be you got to be willing to go com competitive against each other because each each turn can a lot can change in each turn especially when you have more of the actions built the pieces are really cool. Yeah. That's my favorite part of the game is building my ship stuff. The mm -hmm. game itself is fine. I think it's probably my second favorite of the three. And I'll get to my first favorite at some point as we continue here. But uh, this one here is a cool little space game that feels a little bit like StarCraft and a little bit like an action management rolling style game. <laughs> so next game is Castle Siege, right? Yes. And in Castle Siege, it's really unique in kind of how you use your hand to hold your deck. And it's, it's basically the whole game is one hand versus one hand uh which kind of reminds me of some other games like maiden quest or, or palm, palm island, island. Yep. but those are mostly solo games where you're just playing by no, yourself maiden's i mean maiden quest, quest, but it's cooperative play. when you're playing and palm players. island is a two-player game as well actually you oh, okay. do have two separate players okay. um i don't know if it's i think it's cooperative yeah, or competitive yeah. but yeah both of them do this one here though is a is a competitive game yeah. in which you're going to have a uh, very few select cards i think you're only gonna get like 10 cards in your hand basically and they're the same in each deck yes. so it really is about the battle of wits and what what you choose how you choose to build your tower and when you choose to attack that affects uh how you're playing who wins <laughs> yeah you're, you're gonna have towers game. you're gonna have archers that go in those towers there's yes. rules to how many things can go into each of the different segments of your hand and it does feel like you're holding you've got the entire game in the palm of your hands so you can play this pretty much anywhere you want and it's pretty simple as to how you play it once you go through the rules once or twice you'll figure out how it functions it is a bit wonky in my opinion as for putting things into your hand it's hard to get used to right because you're actually utilizing it's different 
like having to yeah, hold your hand. You're like going to have all these things. things okay, and so one heart here and two here. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, ah, cramp, cramp. It's, it reminds me of when I used to play guitar and I would have to, you know, stretch out my fingers so that I could be able to play the certain chords and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. Uh, Takes this... a little bit of dexterity in that way. And, and there are some players that may not be a good fit for because of that, having to have the manual dexterity with your hands. But so. otherwise, it's a pretty straightforward type of game that you're built. It's a, it's a hand tableau management game in which you're attacking your opponents, reducing their health, and moving the cards around. It's definitely cool. It's definitely unique. It's something I haven't seen before as far as basically a hand building game. I've yeah. actually only seen, there's only two of them that I've actually heard of. So this is a unique twist to those mm -hmm. in a uh, big game, small package kind of thing. Yeah, and I think there's more potential for the game as well. There's, I think there's more room to have other types of cards that would oh, change yeah. up the game. There's a lot of room for uh, expansion expansion and potential potential to this game yep and then finally the next one is the blessed dark yes the blessed dark kind of reminds me of space base and machi koro and the way that you're placing down cards onto the table in front of you you're trying to summon the demons and you're trying to gather their favor or you're gathering cards that are going to give you some unique benefit or your opponent some nasty thing Ooh, move yeah, target heck. spell to the discard pile so mm -hmm. this one here can hurt hurt your opponent and it hurt me drastically. Yes, he hated that. Oh my gosh. It is a very aggressive game as well, but I like also it plays up to four players, which is nice. Uh, I like this game the best of all three. I like the I like the, the theme as well, like, you know, you're building up your spells, your grimoire, and trying to, to control the dark one, and the rolling die, yeah, um, there's some luck to that, but if, when you have a lot of different things you can do, you can build up so that that la luck isn't as important. Well, yeah, if you have three things. or four cards down in front of yeah. you and you have one that's a straight of one, two, three, and the mm -hmm. other one that's a four, five, six, Gotta and then one that's a ahead. double, and then one that's like at odds, you're not going to not be able to do something, do something when you try to attempt But if you do attempt yeah. to push your luck and roll the die, it's kind of on you. So the amount of luck involved in this game is more so the fault of the player more than the game itself by not choosing to actually cast a spell when you actually can succeed. Uh, this is definitely my favorite of the three as well. I really enjoy the ability to craft my own spells. I think you got to be careful, though. Don't try and... Because you can take all the blood... And, and you can try gather to it all. Gather all the resources so no one can have any more. But there's a card in but... here that actually takes away all your resources. I didn't realize that, and it destroyed me the first game we played. So knowing definitely what's in the deck and what spells people can do is going to benefit you. After you've played the first game, you're going to uh, get a feel for what you need to do, and you, there'll be less surprises like that. And, and of course, that's good like though too, because you don't strategies. want somebody to hoard all of it because yeah, it is a limited supply. Yeah. It's definitely a dark feeling game like you mm -hmm. feel like mm -hmm. you're gathering the blood and the demons definitely my favorite of the games as far as thematic goes the artwork is all they're basically just a lot of symbols yeah, a lot but of, they work very but well cute. as well they got the little dark theme a lot of game in stars. here four <laughs> players so that works very well mm -hmm. i enjoyed this one quite a bit it's definitely an aggressive game so another i mean all three of them are fairly aggressive yes, games yeah, so if you like these competitive style games in which you're going out and destroying people's ships or summoning <laughs> the dark ones and messing the opponent's hands or crafting your hand castle and defeating your opponent defeating with archers their, their castle <laughs> that i think you're going to enjoy this collection of games mm -hmm. this is a really cool little pack of games i'm excited to see what it's going to look like when it's all finished and when it's all done i think all the quality of all the pieces yeah. is very nice all the games play differently so playable and and uh, able to yeah take with us wherever in the small packages i'm sure they'll be even better in the final version yeah so overall i had a good time with these games something i'm definitely going to play with basically my my younger ones that come over or even new gamers would be probably pretty good with these games here mm -hmm. definitely not a game i play with my cousin ashley she's not good with dealing <laughs> with competitive games so these three are definitely ones to avoid with her but if you have those type of gamers who like these type of games this what you see is what you get how it's going to function and the amount of game you get in this little bundle or games i should say is I, pretty phenomenal i think it's gonna be really great for couples too especially if your couple travels together Except or just her, like to cheats. have <laughs> or just like to have a, a small collection of games you can break out and just play with each other wherever you are is a, a great one to pick up all right well thanks for watching and outro all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer 
Kickstarter board game review. If you are curious about the Paquetto collection, any of these three games, be sure to check out the links in the description below. During the campaign, you can pick it up as well, probably later on the website if you're watching this at a later time. Thank you so much for watching. And as well, you can visit our website, unfilteredgamer.com, for all kinds of blogs, our other reviews and videos, including my series, Callie's Corner. You gotta click those buttons, click that like button if you like this video, as well as subscribe if you wanna see all of our other videos and that bell notification to make sure that you actually see those videos. Thank you guys so much. And as always, I look forward to playing games from big games in small packages with you next time. Check, 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 check. makes it harder for you. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's fine. Travel collection package, as well as giving my review. <laughs>